Okay, everybody, this is episode 13 of the Gradient Mesh tutorial. Still drawing the nose, we were about to blend it, but I wanted to just say that uh, off camera, I just added a little bit more darkness to this spot right here. I just felt like I needed that transition. I also defined this line a little bit more and just darkened it up a little bit. And I thought it looked a lot better. Um, I do want to do one thing before I go into the blending of the nose. I just wanted to find, uh, I'm actually going to change my mind as I did a few episodes for, from a few, uh, uh, I'm changing my mind from a few episodes ago. I just want to, um, to find this highlight over here a little bit more because I'm losing this kind of this, there's like a line right here. That's kind of, um, key that I kind of missed. So I, I, I think I do need to get it because there's a line there. There's a, it's like a drop off of this tallest point of the nose behind it is it's kind of like, I just need it. There's a, there's more dimension that we could have on the nose right there. So I'm going to just rearrange some of these points. I may need to add one more line. Just gonna fix our points, make sure it rides this, this boundary here. Just gonna bring this one in. And this is really what I see for the most part. Everyone's gonna see something different and that's gonna make every mesh look different. Uh, but again, this is the way I kind of go about creating these and how I get my results. All right, so I think that's good. So now that we've done that, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna add one more point right here. And it looks like I'm actually gonna add, have to add this one too because I wanna get this directionality of the nose and the highlight. And I, I guess I suppose I also need to, to go down a little bit here. Um, so let's see what I'm gonna do. That's my, is that my edge right there of the nose? Uh, yeah, I guess that's my edge of the nose. So I do want to bring this in here. So right now the mesh had to change a little bit because uh, the edge of the nose and nostril didn't make sense. So I had to make the boundary of that again, follow the highlight. I'm actually gonna bring this out more. Just fix this. And I think that shape is looking good. Now what I could do, I actually wanna bring this in put this right at the top right there let's bring this up and I think that's looking pretty good so let's try and fill those colors in and then we're probably gonna have to blend of course so you can see what we did there you see the separation now I think it looks a little bit better. I mean, this is a little out of whack right now. The shape is weird. You see that, right? Look at that. It's like squared off. So I'm going to just darken up. I'm just going to darken up these points across this shadow here just so I can grab that definition back must have lost it during the blend that's a little dark so now I'm gonna I think I'm gonna blend upwards and then downwards maybe try upwards again I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to undo select both of them and select above. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to go above, above, above. And now I'm going to go to the right. I'm 
select both of them and let's see what we have I actually like that I think I'm just gonna blend this left side here I think that looks pretty good I still have to fix this this edge here something's going on I guess maybe because that highlight wasn't filled in. Something's weird. At this point, something is up. I think that's, I think that's better. I think this point just needs to blend. So I'm just going to do one pass across this line right here and then I'm going to call it on the nose and then we're going to start blending it to our faceplate. I'm going to do one pass on the line under it right here. I think this one also needs to have a small blend to the right. Maybe to the left on this one. The other one I don't think needed the left blend. I thought I got rid of the streaks but this one I think is getting a little streak or is a little streaky. Just slightly. I don't want to mess up this nice line we have here. I'm going to blend upwards on these few points right above the shadow. I just need to, I just want to get them a little bit lighter. This one I think needs to get a little lighter. Yeah. So I'm pretty much just going to call it on the nose right there. I am going to, sorry, I'm just moving the boom mic here. We still have, right here it looks pretty clean actually, up there. Uh, we still have to do some correction. We still have to do some color selection, color matching, and, and basically motion matching to the points. We have to make sure our anchor points are kind of going in the same fashion. So we're going to start out by doing the color. And I'm also going to manipulate the nose a little bit. And I'm also going to manipulate the face a little bit. Because we want the face, realistically, to match our nose. Because our nose was more detailed. We went out and tried to make our nose the, um, basically the shape of what we were, you know, we were trying to make the nose as we would see it in the final version. So on the face, I was kind of molding the face because I knew I was going to use the nose. Um, I knew I was going to use the nose layer as my main visual for the final, final render of the drawing. So what I'm doing here basically is I'm giving myself the opportunity because I'm lining up my face points with the nose, it already looks better already. But what it's going to allow me to do is going to allow me to blend just like I would blend with the nose, like going back and forth or with the face going right to right to right to left. We can do that across the face colors and the nose colors and we can create a seamless blend. Plus, because this is gradient mesh, if we match those lines, then the color on each object or each layer will follow that trend. And it's going to make a lot, it's going to make for a lot smoother transition in color. So we're just going to have to move all these down here because I really just want to have this line perfectly to the nose. All right, so we're almost there. We we'll just have a little bit more editing. 
So basically I'm editing my original structure of the nose. So I think we can leave it like that. So now, now that we have it lined up, just gonna check this part right here. I'm actually gonna pretty much leave that on top. I think that's looking good. All right, I think I'm gonna leave that up there. I'm just gonna have to fix this over here. So now what we could do is now we could start blending to the face. So now I'm going to take my edge points of the nose shape and then I'm going to select the next closest color on the actual face layer. What we're trying to eliminate right now is the hard transition of our boundary of our mesh that we've used for like a safety line because we, do, we, we don't always go to like the perfect edge. We always give ourselves a little room to do this stuff because there's even possibility of having it in your export. You can even like see the divide if you don't do it right. Sometimes the overlap would be a little bit nicer. Plus we can mess with opacity blending and color matching. I'm not really sure what's causing this, but it's probably the face layer actually. So I'm gonna unlock the face layer and I'm gonna take the face layer. What is going on? Okay, I don't, I'm gonna lock the nose layer. So I'm just selecting to the left to match that. It's already looking a lot nicer right there. But you can really see what we're doing. It's pretty self-explanatory, honestly, once you really see someone do it, you're like, oh wow, I can't believe I haven't thought of that. That makes sense. And you're like, yeah, it probably does because this is dang nature and humans make sense, kind of. So I'm gonna go back on my nose layer and I'm just gonna continue that trend, doing uh, the, the blend again. I'm just gonna go back to the top. So I don't really wanna see this hard edge at all. I'm gonna select all these. So I don't really like this hard edge, so I'm really trying to get rid of it right now. I'm really trying to select really more than the first point, maybe the first two, and try and get that color up there. So you can see it's definitely looking better than before. We're definitely gonna have to mess with opacities on the edges here and mess with the color more. I also don't like how we're losing the, the bend of the face there. I suppose you lose it anyway. I think the color just needs to match. So we're just gonna keep matching this color. I do need to go to the face layer and I need to go and hunt what is making this not line up basically. I'm gonna I'm gonna make that net the nose. And I'm gonna line this up better. And I'm going to eventually start lowering opacities. I did say that recently, but I think I'm gonna have to do that. So I'm gonna be careful what I line up here. So 
So I'm gonna take the face layer now and I'm gonna try and blending to the nose. Cause we gotta get rid, I'm gonna lock the nose so I don't select it. It's Cause we gotta get rid of this harsh change between the nose layer and our face layer. It's not good. So we gotta fix that. So we're gonna blend now with the nose layer enabled, doing the technique again, because right now we're selecting really on the nose right now. That's what we're doing. So it can only help by blending where we need to with the nose. All right, so we still have an issue with the nose up here. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna unlock the nose, lock my face, and I'm gonna start messing with opacity. So I'm just gonna start playing around over here. I don't really like what's going on over here. So I think in my general um, preference, where I'm having the most difficulty, which should make the most sense to drop some opacity. So I'm gonna make all those points 50%. And now we can see, um, it becomes a little softer right there because it's letting the face layer through. And now we can almost get a much better idea of how it blends. So over here, I think I'm going to do maybe like 75%. Go across the edge, make them 75. Let's see how that looks right here. I'm going to hide and lose my face as a reference. I just want to see. Yeah, I have too much of a hard line right here. I still have to work. So I'm going to start blending the colors again. From to the left. So now we're doing, we're going down. So I'm still not really happy with that. So I might even just take these points and just see what it looks like. All right, so I think that wraps it up for this episode. I will have to continue smoothing out the edges of the nose to the face but it does look pretty good for someone who really doesn't know you know what is going on if you look at this right now you would not really be paying attention to the edges of that nose as like a separate piece you might just think it's part of the drawing and it would still look good but i just think it needs a little bit more help somewhere i just got to figure it out i got to see what i can do i got to keep going and just keep tapping with it Thank you for watching. My name is Mark Dematti. You can find me on Instagram at M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S, Mark Darts. Please subscribe and like this video and coming at you with episode 14 after this. Thank you. Yeah.